odd or my mom trying to tell me something. There's baby clothes in here. And I found this Betsy Johnson purse. It's a bumblebee costume for a dog. Home wrecker. Braces, bad eyebrows. <laughs> oh, my mom is a lot like me. Natural Tiffany. I mean, I'm always natural and like real, but like, and I'm a huge fan of Betsy but Johnson. But God just gives me some kind of strength, so. Hey everybody, what is up? And welcome back to a vlog. Um, I actually was looking and I haven't actually just like regular vlogged in a, in a bit. So I thought I would. And yes, I am in my mom's old room. Um, she always had like lights on her bed. I thought that was really cool. I love her bed frame. I don't know if y'all can see it. Oh, I can't zoom here. Maybe I can zoom when I edit. But um, yeah, anyway, so... The next project we have in this house is this room will be me and my husband's room. So I pretty much have to clear everything out of here. The last couple of days, I cleared all of her clothes out of the closet. Now, my mom is a lot like me. Um, we both love clothes. There were a lot of clothes. Um, I pretty much divided it into two piles. Some of the clothes, I took a lot to Goodwill because clothes, I just I have trouble selling. So, and I took a lot to Goodwill. I actually have three different piles I put them in. One to Goodwill. One I put on a clothing rack that I will keep. Because there's a few things I want to keep that, you know, I liked. And then I just want to, of course, remember my mom by. And then third, so a lot of these clothes still had tags on them that she never wore. So, in the, in, if they still had a tag on them, me and my husband put them in a storage box. And... We're going to try to have a yard sale and sell those later. Because we're thinking if it has a tag on it and it's brand new, it's probably going to sell. But anyway, that's way later. So, that's what's going on here. This room is absolutely messy. Um, like I said, I'm decluttering. Um, yes. And I did a little poll yesterday um, on my community tab and asked y'all, what kind of videos do y'all like best for me to do? And most people said that they enjoy my vlogs the best. And honestly, like, that means a lot to me because, um, you know, vlogs is just, like, more like me, natural Tiffany. I mean, I'm always natural and, like, real. But, like, vlogs are just, like, it's my life and it's me talking. So, for people to like that the most on my channel, that really, really warms my heart. And I thank you for that. So, I'm definitely going to be vlogging more. I just feel like lately it's been easier to put up cleaning and decluttering videos and stuff you know because that's what I'm doing right now I'm doing a lot of decluttering these days and cleaning and I'm trying to just get this house better so that is what is going on what else yeah I just got done filming that's why I have antlers on I just got done filming my bathroom decorate video I hope y'all enjoyed that um I really had a lot of fun but like I said I really enjoy doing vlogs more because um when you do like cleaning or decorating videos, you have to turn your camera or your phone in all kinds of different directions. You have to get the right angles and it's, you know, it can be stressful and stuff. It is fun after it finally all comes together, but it's just a lot of editing and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm going to show y'all, like my mom had really good taste in clothes, really good taste in purses. She had a lot of Michael Kors purses. I kept one for myself. Um... She had really good taste. What else was going to say? Yeah, I'll show you the clothes later that I'm decluttering. <laughs> Let me show you a really cute Betsy Johnson oh, purse. I was cleaning up one of her closets, and I found this Betsy Johnson purse. Um, really what it's called is like a wallet on a string. Can you see? I love Betsy Johnson. I'm a huge fan of Betsy Johnson. Um, let me turn. Okay, so the Betsy Johnson purse, the wallet on a string... <laughs> And it's pretty much just a place to keep debit cards and some change. Um, Ross. No, it's $19.99. So, this is the other part of... This is how messy the, house, the room is, y'all. Um, I've gotten... I've cleared the closets out. They're empty. Um, and um, I've got this clothing rack here. Stuff I'm going to keep. There's just stuff everywhere. Um, and she had this, like, what do you call this? Wardrobe thing. And this was filled with clothes all the way to the top. So, I've just emptied that out. Um, 
yeah so I got a lot of work cut out for me if you know <laughs> um, I had this vanity growing up um, it was a it was a set from Dillard's and it was really nice I had it as a teenager but it's it needs to be clean and I don't know maybe somebody will buy it I don't know some people like to do home improvements um, re makeovers refurbish yeah <laughs> So if I seem like I'm talking real smoothly about these kind of things, about my mom's things, um, I'm not. Somehow I have, I'm okay for the time being. But yesterday when um, I, not yesterday, a few days ago when I actually first started to go through her closets, it was extremely, extremely hard. When my mom first passed away, I did not, it did not register. Like I was in denial a long time. And it's hit me much later. Like, it's just, grief is weird how it hits you. And um, so anyway, I started to do this a few nights ago and um, go through her clothes. And it's really, to me, someone's clothes, to know that they're not going to come back and wear their clothes, that's really, really personal. And I don't want to start crying here, so I'm not going to talk about it long. But um, I sat down in this chair right here and I just broke down and I was crying. Because it just hit me again that... My mom won't be here to put clothes on anymore. And I don't know. I just feel like getting rid of someone's clothes is very final. So I just don't want y'all to think like, oh, this is easy for me. Let me show you what my mom's done, what she's worn. Like, it's not like that. It's, you know, it's a process. It was really hard. But the next project, like I said, we're doing here is I've got to clear out this room so it can be me and my husband's room. So... But I just don't want anybody thinking that it's easy for me because this is not easy. This is not easy for anybody to do. Go through go through your loved one's things. It's it's very difficult. And I just think I don't know how I can do it, but God just gives me some kind of strength. So So I've been working in this room as I've showed. Um, there's this chest that was right by my mom's bed. Here it is. And I emptied, look at all this mountain of clothes on the couch, you guys. Tons and tons of clothes. Those, my, all those clothes will be donated. Um, yeah, these are the clothes I'm gonna keep. I'll be showing you a close up in a little bit of those. Um, I know usually in declare videos you show what you're getting rid of, but I'm showing what I'm going to keep because it's special to me because it's not like just anything. So let me show you what I found in this chest, um, which I'm trying. The reason I'm cleaning this out is because I'm trying to empty it so I can sell it. I think it's something that's going to go very fast. Um, anyway, let me see if I can put you down there. So. I found a lot of dog clothes and it is so cute as many of you know we have a lot of dogs here and in here I found a lot of dog clothes got this little sweater I think my little terrier Millie wore that you guys this is a bumblebee costume for a dog it's so cute y'all this is a little um, coat look it's so cute and it just comes off like that 
That is so cute for one of the like little terrier dogs. So, okay, something else I found. Is God or my mom trying to tell me something? There's baby clothes in here. This is brand new, zero to three months, Carter's, oh, it's, yeah, it's Carter's. My first Christmas. Somebody tried to, trying to tell me something? I don't know. Um, but honestly, I think this was left over from when my brother had a baby, which was five years ago. And I think maybe my mom meant to give this to him, but she forgot. And so yeah, we have like brand new baby clothes. <laughs> this is really cute. I found this hat. Once again, with like dog sweaters. So cute. Like if you've got chihuahuas or terriers, let me know. I can mail you these, um, <laughs> these little, little dog clothes. Home wrecker. So cute. And then I found this table runner, this fall table runner. It's pretty, you guys never used. It's from Ross. It's $7.99. Oh my gosh, y'all. Uh, this is my senior picture. This was me as a senior in high school. Do I still look the same? Braces, bad eyebrows. <laughs> That's me. Okay. And then I found this. This is so interesting that this was in here, y'all. This is the day of 9-11. So this, this newspaper is September 12th, 2001, and she saved this, and she had it in here, and it shows the picture of the Twin Towers and everything under attack, which, is, which was really crazy, we all know. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday. I woke up like this. How do you like it? So anyway, it is Thursday, like I mentioned, and I just, I dropped the kids off at school. I dropped my husband off at work. I may do like a day in my life to show you what it's like in my life because I take my husband to work super early and then I come back and wake up the kids. And if you would be interested to see a routine, let me know. I'm about to have some oatmeal. I just put it in the fridge because it was too hot so I just put it in the fridge to cool it off so I'm gonna enjoy me some oatmeal um, I know my kitchen's a wreck um, <laughs> story of my life so yeah I'm gonna ooh, it's a little it's pretty thick today but that's okay so yeah drink my water and um, so let me show you my to-do list I, I'm I'm trying to make a to-do list. Well, sometimes I make one and sometimes I don't. But this is my to-do list for today. Okay. So, I don't know if you can read it. I don't know. Anyway, it says upload bathroom video. So, that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to go to Walmart and upload my decorate bathroom video. Um, I don't. My, we don't really have internet here. So, I mean, it works on our phones a little bit. But it doesn't work well enough to, like, upload a video. It would take hours and hours. So, what I do, if you're... Um, if you're a fellow YouTuber and you have trouble with internet, maybe this is um, something good for you. But I go to Walmart, you guys. I drive to Walmart to upload my videos and it uploads in like less than 10 minutes. So it's pretty quick, the really fast internet. So I'm just letting you know, if you have trouble with internet, go to Walmart or like my friend Elizabeth, go to a coffee shop. Yeah. Um, so yeah, anyway, I mean, my, my to-do list for today is upload the bathroom video, which I'm gonna go about to go to Walmart, drop off stuff at Goodwill. I did, I didn't film this part yesterday, but I did put some um, more clothes and bags to take to Goodwill, clean oven, and clean the refrigerator. I probably won't film, you probably won't see me cleaning the oven and fridge today, um, but I will show y'all the clothes I'm gonna keep that were on that clothing rack from yesterday. What else? I thought I was going to say something very interesting, but it left my mind. Yeah, I look rough, y'all. I have lost my makeup, you guys. Like, not all my makeup, but like my favorite makeup bag that has like my main mascara. Like, I am dying to do a full face of makeup and play with eyeshadow and all that, but <laughs> right now this is what's going on.
my minivan's dirty story of my life. I should probably do a cleaning video for that. It's embarrassing. Hey guys it is one o'clock I am back from Goodwill I've just I've been home for a while like cleaning the kitchen and drinking coffee and honestly like enjoying my alone time <laughs> I very much treasure my alone time without I mean without my husband without my kids um, it makes it better when I'm with them <laughs> but um, I've got about an hour until my husband comes home and I think I will show you all the clothes I'm gonna keep um, that I liked of my mom's and I am starving 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 some I thought I don't know what's up with me I'm like ravenous um, I thought maybe I'm so hungry because I need water because sometimes your mind tricks you where's my water cup oh here it is um, got this sometimes your mind tricks you and you think you're hungry but you're really thirsty but I've been drinking water and I'm still really hungry I've had oatmeal, I've had two bowls of cereal, and I'm still really hungry. Um, I wish I could go to Walmart and get those thumbprint cookies. Um, I need some food in my life. But I also want to go to the, I also need to go to the gym, so it's a struggle. So anyway, I'm going to eat, I think I'm going to eat some popcorn, and then I will catch up. Good. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that's me. Good morning, everybody. How are y'all doing? Millie! Millie! <laughs> My dog is driving me insane. So, anyway, how are y'all doing? <laughs> Dewey is going crazy. Uh, okay, I'm trying to talk. Kids are gone, husband's gone. Um, Dewey's here. And anyway, how are y'all doing? So, um, I was gonna, I didn't show my clothes yesterday. I'm gonna do it this morning, show y'all my clothes I'm keeping. Um, I'm about to have a cup of coffee first. I try to put, I put all my like Christmas mugs up front. Um, I guess I'll drink from this, um, you know, you know what? I'll drink from this Mary and Bright one that I got from Dollar Tree. And last night I went to the grocery store. I was really craving like sugar cookies. And so I picked these up. So I'm going to have like two cookies and a cup of coffee. Watch some of my friends' YouTube videos. And I also got cupcakes. And I don't know. It was just, it's just too much icing for me. It was good, but it's just like a little too sweet. So anyway, I'm going to enjoy my cup of coffee. And then I'm going to go and show y'all the clothes that I really like and I'm going to be keeping. Okay guys, I have um, propped y'all up on the bed. Um, I am wearing some Old Navy pajamas that are brand new. I just found them here. So I just wanted to quickly show you a few of the clothes um, I'm keeping. There's a few more in another area, but we don't got all the time in the world for that. So I just wanted to share some of um, the clothes in the closet that I am keeping. Um, so let's get into it. Okay. I hope this thing doesn't fall down because it fell earlier. Okay, so I really liked this heart, long sleeve heart um, shirt. And it's in an extra large. I don't know. By the way, a lot of the places uh, me and my mom shop are Ross. So, that's probably where a lot of these clothes are from. Okay, this is really nice, y'all. It is so soft, so freaking soft. Um, I think of it as like a holiday sweater. My mom actually wore this last December to a Christmas party. Um, and I wore it to the Christmas Eve. Um, oh, this is pretty too. I didn't show it. I just, I just saw this part. So it has this. It has this like little bling on it. Can you see the bling? So it just kind of goes together. Where's that? Is there one on each side? How is it supposed to attach? Oh, maybe it's just supposed to be bling. Maybe it's not like a button. Um, but it is so incredibly soft. So it's not something that's like everyday use, but 
definitely for the holidays. And I like that it's silky inside. Let's see what it says. It's fake mink fur. So, fake mink fur. Okay. So, this next shirt I got, um, I'm pretty sure she never wore it. And the, I actually, for those of you that don't know, I actually worked at a, in retail. I worked at a clothing store. Um, when, I, when Penelope was like three years old, I worked at a club. I didn't make much money, but I really enjoyed it. Like, I enjoyed dressing the mannequins and, like, doing the window, um, decorating the little windows where people look, and like, you know, advertising. Like, that was so much fun. I would love to do that. Um, I didn't, like I said, I didn't get paid much, but I so enjoyed that job because I, enjoy, I enjoyed, like, I just enjoy clothes, obviously, so... It was so much fun dressing up the mannequins and putting different outfits on them. Um, anyway, uh, my mom would come in there and I would give her discounts on the clothes. And this is a shirt right here. And I like it. It's got a cross. Are those like wings or something? But it is from this band, brand called Vocal, which is kind of on the higher side. But I am, I am pretty much a bling girl. I love bling, so... Um, and actually, myself, I didn't have, like, a good jacket, but she left behind a lot of jackets, so I don't think I'm going to need to go for a coat or jacket for a very long time. I really like this little red jacket. It's really cute. And I like the little ruffles at the bottom. It kind of gives it, like, it gives it, like, a little feminine touch, you know? Okay. And then this shirt I liked a lot and it is like polka dots and it's got this right here and it's just long so it would be good for the summer um, yeah I really like that it's very pretty I love polka dots I know sometimes I repeat myself but sorry I'll try to edit that stuff out um, and like I said, she shops at Ross. Obviously, you can tell. Uh, here, there's the tag on this, like, long sleeve pink. And then this shirt. I don't know if this green shirt came with it, but they were together in her closet. Once again, like, these little pearls. And um, that would be good for, like, I'm thinking January, February, you know. <laughs> uh, is this from Ross? Another Ross shirt, y'all. Something that was never worn. And it's just like a simple gray shirt. But it has like this like crochet part right here. So I really like that. And then this, once again, we're going with what Ross. She got this and never wore it. This was a jacket. And it's like that. Once again, there's bling. Ross see it so it's kind of like grayish kind of but like kind of got like a green tint to it oh my god it's so hot in here okay so I'm kind of on the fence about this shirt because I think it's cute kind I kind of think it's cute but I kind of like I'm not sure if I should keep it let me know but it's just like a pink shirt with a Christmas tree and once again there's bling so, this is not a brand new shirt. This is a shirt she had. Oh, my arms are getting tired. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, another cute jacket. I'm just going to be styling in jackets. This is an Anne Klein jacket. Oh. So, it's like that. It's kind of cropped. And then it's got like gold. I really like that. It's pretty. Now, this next thing, it looks really big on the hanger, but, um, but you know how things look different on person, especially like when you've got muffin tops and stuff like that, like me. So, I think this is really cute. This is like a heart, perfect for Valentine's or whenever. So, it's got this heart and then it's got like this see-through. I really like that. I'm wondering what it's going to look like on. <laughs> this isn't a try-on. I've got to stop eating Christmas cookies. Okay, another thing that's new that I found in the closet that I'm going to make use of is a shirt from Ross. 
And once again, look at all that bling, you guys. I'm such a blingy person. <laughs> yeah, you can see me coming from a mile away. Okay, and then another uh, shirt I found is um, a, a shirt with Santa on it, and it says Merry Christmas, just a regular old t-shirt. And she got that from Walmart, because this is holiday time. I know these kind of shirts are from Walmart, so that still has the tag on it. Maybe I can wear it. I don't know. Maybe I'm going Christmas shopping tomorrow. Maybe I can wear it. This is going to be a really long video. Sorry. I'm going to have to edit. I need to get through this. Okay. So, and then we got this shirt right here. <sighs> I've got to sit up so y'all can see it. It's hard for chubby girls. Okay. So, it's this shirt right here. Um, now, honestly, like, this isn't, like, my favorite type of shirt. But the main reason I'm going to keep this and I'm giving it to my sister, my little sister. So, look what it says. Lauren Michelle that is my sister's name y'all Lauren Michelle so I showed her that I said look what I found in the closet and I showed her that and she's she's gonna keep it so next time she comes here I'm giving this to her we thought that that was pretty cool and maybe that was a reason why my mom had the shirt because it says Lauren Michelle okay now this is really cool too you may have seen this on my Instagram if you follow me on Instagram it's a nice leather jacket it's probably fake. Did I say leather? I mean, like, you know, leopard print, fur. Y'all, it's Betsy Johnson. Y'all know I'm a Betsy Johnson fan by now. Okay. I'm going to quick look it through this. And then, once again, an, a nice, like, kind of like, I guess, would you call it like a rain jacket or something? Uh, and it, it looks like it's an expensive brand. It says London Fog. And that was from Ross. And oh my lord, my hands are getting tired. Here's a dress I thought I would keep for like church. I feel like... Okay, now this is pretty too, once again from Ross. And it's my size large to extra large. And it is a very like fancy robe. I think that's pretty. Very feminine. I like it. And I don't really wear stuff like that, but I want to. And then once again with jackets, I was on the fence about this one. Um, it's kind of like a medium length. It kind of looks like it would be a Betsy Johnson jacket, but anyway, I like it. I like loud prints. Okay, guys, I better end the video here because this is a super long video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you watched till the end. And I apologize if I talk too much. I might have to edit some talking out. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure and give this video a like, and I'll see y'all in the next video video.